I really like Dioscuri, but this buff was not it in the sense of this was not a real buff. So Dioscuri's third skill was fairly weak, like for a, especially for a five star, it was really, really weak. The card buff numbers were welfare numbers, like not even like good welfare numbers, bad welfare numbers. Um, and this skill buff was literally just to fix that one skill now is it a bad buff no no they needed this but it's just they bought the skill after what three years and that's all they're doing is people's feelings towards it especially since europa got one hell of a buff that gave her 50 percent da more damage consistently um w both when she's farming and then in she's able to when she charms she does even more damage couldn't calc that charm in the place but i think that's just how this thing works uh if it's not 100 percent on stuff like that it's not happening so let's get started on talking about deal scurry uh i'm up early in the morning and i want to stream a more imaginary scramble uh before i go to work so I like the artwork. There's two of them, uh, Caster and Pollux. This is Caster, that's Pollux. Um, re and they're pretty special because they are they count as both a, a Saber and an Avenger. And yes, they do show up in uh, Id, uh, just not a lot. Like they're not really affected by what happens in Id because one of them might qualify for an Avenger. The other one is definitely a saber. They have like a combined spirit origin. So they also have Avenger pass. So very nice. Base attack 11.8K uh, on the mid high end of five stars and almost 15K HP. Base stats, they're doing pretty good. Again, there's no the issue for Dio Scurry is their skills don't hold up for how good their MP is. That's the main thing. Their MP is like so much better in comparison to like most of this, their skills. MP charge 0.51%. Don't worry about it. A, it's 0.51 on four hit arts. B, they're gonna be buffed up. These cards, as long as you can spam the MP, you're always pretty much gonna have an arts buff. which again is another reason why they didn't want to give Dio Scurry uh, values that they, ha they have. So first skill, this skill doesn't really do any like buffs besides on these atta on attack buffs. So all your quick cards, gen 10 gauge, all your arts cards, gen 10 stars. This also includes the MP. So you want to have this on as much uptime as possible. Otherwise, they're just a single target art servant with no like This doesn't affect damage. Just like keeping this straight. This skill does not affect damage. This skill affects your damage output, not your. Um, how do I say it? How do I like explain this? This skill is a utility skill. It helps Dio Scurry do what they want to do, but it does not directly translate into damage. It gives them opportunities to do more damage. There you go. I said it right that time. Second skill. This one also not not great. It's this is what is it? Tactics. No, no, this is the special tactics that um like pirates have which i mean that that does make sense um because this is like them being like on the argo so 15 percent attack 15 percent mb damage for the entire party and then debuff immune one time three turns this skill isn't that out of place but dio scurry would definitely like more long lasting buffs than just their third skill because again right now they're only consistent 
Uh, damage steroid is their third skill. So another reason people had problems with Dio Scurry is just because like if their third skill wasn't up, well, they were solely relying on Castorias or their other supports. Now, if you're in a Tomo comp, it's different because you have a chance of double stacking some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, you have a chance to double stack this, not a good one. And third skill definitely could be double stacked. This one ain't no way. Um, oh yeah, examples for like servants that have a skill like this, Nemo, uh, Drake, uh, Teach, I think Columbus has it too. It's like pirates have a sp special kind of tactics or like seafarers more specifically uh, that they have these AOE one turn buffs, but it's like these two do stack together, but if you're not MPing, it's pretty much a waste of the skill. And finally, the third skill. So this is this was the egregious part. 20% on a six turn cooldown with a one turn of dodge. Are you fucking kidding me? This was a bad skill. If I said this was good before, it was because this was their only damage steroid. Now, the reason for this is that their NP also technically counts as an arts buff. You just put it on the enemy. Um, for a good while, I kind of had something in my head a little twisted that uh, res down in this game worked a little more similar to how it does in Honkai. Is what it is when you play multiple games with similar formulas at times. Uh, but yeah, this skill, it was never that good. This was always their weakest skill and the one that should have gotten buffed. If I said in the past that wasn't true, this is future me saying like using them at max rank on multiple accounts, like, and then using Tron, Tron sisters on my own account. If, if this stuff isn't maxed out, it you might as well not have it. Like again, cause the base number is 10%. If you don't have this maxed out, what's the point of even having this skill up? So like the base scaling for it was just not good. The evasion was fine, but th th why this should have had a dodge icon if it was gonna be, uh, if the turn duration was gonna be going off the dodge. So, buff, 30, they bumped up the number from uh, 20 to 30 percent your base number is also at 20 so now there is a good reason to level it is like 14 percent in the grand scheme of things is when you don't have other buffs like when they're by themselves 14 percent versus 24 percent is a noticeable difference how much of a difference though that is for dio scurry it depends on how many times you mp but yeah 30 percent on card buffs gave you gave them a 30 percent battery which again um in more stall situations you really feel them not having a battery especially when you're just starting up it makes the teams that you use different because there are, there are definitely art supports that work better if you don't start with charge than if you do um because like it's like it's about wasting excess charge especially if you're plug studying in uh, a servant that doesn't have charge um can't really use paracelsus to his best ability because the burden now is on your craft essence or on your other support other than castoria because castoria can do 50 your dps can do 20 but if your other support that you're plugging out uh paracelsus for doesn't have additional charge you're not MPing at the start of that fight so now this makes a whole lot more sense full turn of dodge 30 battery and a 30 car buff this on a six turn cooldown actually is a really is a much much better skill way more appropriate for a five star but again this was a fix this was a fix for them, not a buff. A buff 
would have been making this I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't make this three turns at 20%. Mm -mm. Excuse me. I wouldn't have turned this into a roided out buff tactics. I mean, if they want to do that, they could because Dioscari I think is like the servant. It's like between them or Drake. But Drake already has their shit buffed, so that's not happening. Um yeah like a real uh, like a real buff for them with them putting another effect on this skill because again like i, I don't want to say if you don't click their cards this skill does nothing because that's literally any any steroid any utility buff if you don't use what they're buffing obviously it doesn't work uh uh don't take that size of frustration like i early in the morning i i just want to play imaginary scramble we're getting through it though so yeah i like i don't want to shit talk of like buffs for a servant i actually like i'll do it all day for sigurd i don't want to do it all day for theo scurry because again i actually like these characters i like them before the buff I like them even more now but yeah a buff like this shouldn't have taken three plus years that that's the main th that's part of the main sentiment like if you were just gonna fix this skill why didn't you do it earlier all right past the skills mag magic resist a for 20 percent debuff resist riding b uh quick performance up and en enhancement b minus uh 7.5 percent buster up reason for this is caster does not want anyone talking to his sister at all like master talking to his sweet to his sister he is going to stab you in the fucking back if you're actually flirting with uh Pollux. He like he is literally the older like the really overprotective over brother uh older brother or is it younger i don't even know he like he he's got that type of energy Avenger passive when they get hit they take they get way more mp gen and they do have the full passive so if you run uh run dio scurry and karen in the same team i don't know why you do that it, it's an option um but she will get her uh passive activated to get her the attack buff Uh, oblivion correction c crit damage uh self-replenishment three percent gauge per turn twin gods essence divinity like it comes with divinity uh mp gen up and star gen up so again them being part of avenger that wasn't a joke i'm i was being serious they have actual avenger passives as the saber so that again was a reason i thought they were pretty strong that if they got hit while well, protected by Castoria, hey, they got more gain. And they, like, their cards just bit. They bit chunks out of people. Okay, pen skills. One, two, five. Uh, in proper order. Now that they have a battery, uh, if, you're, if you want to use them in farming, this first, then... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, no, this is a farming one. Uh, but one and five work well together because hmm. If you plan on using them more in boss fights and solos, definitely this first. Because I like this is the one I got, and the reason being if you're in a boss fight it's more likely you click the extra attack and the higher your level are the higher level you are the more this is gonna get buffed this scales with base attack so that if a 120 servant that has extra attack performance it, they hit just so much harder than a 90 uh level 90 servant 
like th that extra damage for a lot of servants is going to be the difference between breaking a bar because at that at 120 with all the buffs we're talking like hundred thousand plus damage might be the difference for you breaking a bar for a intern or not them getting skill reloading though i want to say only if you plan on using them in tomo comps just to just so that their engine is already like in full swing and Tomomo will let you double stack this guaranteed because this will be on a five turn so yeah it's it will be you'll have really good uptime on it like pretty much a hundred percent in a Tomomo team with a chance of double stacking like on turn three i believe but to get that turn three double pop is I'm pretty sure you like really have to work for it with Tomo. Like she has to MP both uh two turns back to back. Um but yeah, don't ruler uh yeah. Third skill anti ruler. Don't don't they they might have Avenger passive, but they do not have Avenger class advantage. They are they are literally just gonna hit this hit rulers for less damage so why why would you invest it on in this like it does bridge the gap but not by that much mp probably the reason lasagna was scared of dio scurry ignores invo pierce's defense the ignore uh invo pierce is a buff the defense up uh, pierce is part of the mp so you can block the invo pierce you cannot block the defense pierce their oc arts and quick quick res down for three turns starts at 10 percent, but you can this can stack up pretty easily the higher your copy is the better because the oscuri they their bar tends to stop at 100 a lot of the time i have no like on across all my accounts I don't know how much they actually refund beyond a hundred percent they just get to a hundred pretty much off their mp and then like one arts card doesn't even have to be a crit just an arts card and they're at 100. the better your oc the better your arts res down and the better you're gonna loop to the next mp so if you're able to start really high at oc5 get that 30 percent it just makes the uh the next loops like easier and for you to get higher numbers here uh again on the third mp and unfortunately this is after damage you're gonna have basically another 30 percent arts buff on your quick and arts cards because res down is the same as a buff uh like I don't like the turn like after playing Honkai, like I kinda don't I kinda don't like this being called resistance, but I understand why it's called that. Like I don't I don't know another name for this that works better. Like res res and Honkai just like fits more than it does in FGO. Cause like you can't say hard performance down on the enemy, because that's a debuff like that's you them doing less damage not they take more damage uh oh well that's not for me to decide but yeah this is this has always been a good mp um and because they have another 10 percent yeah forty-five thousand. but you have to remember this is with their second skill active luckily for them their second skill isn't that big of a part of their damage. And this is also not counting any kind of ramp up. Oh, excuse me. But they are definitely pretty far on the list in terms of damage. Uh, Benny Enma straight up beats them. And if you're fighting Chaotic Evil, you should not bring Dio Scurry. You should bring Benny, Benny Emma. Because Benny Emma literally does double damage for Dio Scurry. And all of Benny Emma's buffs are not one turn. 
none of them are one turn and Dio squares all of them are or not all of them but the main their steroid plus another steroid so i think that this i think their base mp damage uh, mp1 is probably closer to iori at mp1 or Lancelot. I, I would say their base MP is closer to Lancelot. Probably a little lower. Uh, maybe around here. So that's not a slight against them, especially because they're arts. You can run Black Rail with Dio Scurry. It's damage isn't going to be an issue for them, like as long as you're running Black Rail. Because then the difference between them having their uh, second skill up and them not having it is going to just be a small, small gap. That's the level. Lamps, reactor cores, chains. Yep. Com and then uh, seven and eight, you need Lost Belt five mats. So JP, since this buff is JP, you can just farm the storm pod node uh with helena and you'll get this done eventually like under a month right six nine uh 33 storm pods so 10 day, uh yeah 10 days and you'll have enough uh lamps to be able to max out helena right yeah 10 11 days bon ce Quicken arts up while they're on the field. Makes a whole lot of sense. Is what it is. As much as I like Dio Scurry, was this buff something that you need to pick them from the ticket? It makes picking them off the ticket is way easier, but I don't think that you should be using a ticket on Dio Scurry. Uh, if you watch Plushie's video, there are a bunch of other servants that are just like not replaceable like there like there is no substitute for ozymandias he is the best like one of the best single targets in the game and the best for right uh rider specifically like he competes up there uh with like pure power with dante's i would say for sheer versatility in his kit and like the amount of downtimes a unit like Ozzy has is negligible compared to most other servants. While Dio Scurry, there's a lot of competition for them. Like a lot of competition. Sabres is one of the most crowded uh, classes that are out there. And again, going to the damage list. Benny Enma's arts. Uh, New York, no, New York Ride is more of a support, but even they still technically do more damage than Dio Scurry. Um, yeah, uh, so Trunk Sisters and Saito are even more direct competition for Dio Scurry, so don't pick them off the ticket but if you get spooked by them you are going to be really happy this is a really good servant it's just not one you should be going out of your way for because a they're permanent b they definitely could use a little more help not that much like i think they're solidly better than saito right now now or <laughs> i think the difference between them and saito is a lot bigger than it was before obviously um and yeah trunk sisters different story they have they're more more stally the oscar is more min turny in my opinion all right peace thank you for making it to the end of this video if you enjoyed drop a like or sub hope to see you in the next one peace